Most people know instant noodles nowadays, right? I don't know if you've ever tried Malaysian instant noodles. They're what I grew up knowing and loving. Nowadays, they come in all kinds of new flavors along with the traditional ones that I'm so familiar with. So I posted a question on social media a week or two ago asking people what their favorite Malaysian instant noodle flavor was. I could not believe how passionate people are on this topic. So I managed to get my hands on a whole bunch of these and experiment with different ways to serve them up. Here are the results. Have a look. Hopefully, they will inspire you to try these out and maybe come up with some ideas of your own as well. Check it out. Laksa Sarawak. Now, if you're from Malaysia, you will know there are lots of different varieties of laksa. Now, practically every state has its own version of laksa. Some of them are very, very different to others. Sarawak's laksa is one of the better known ones. But uh, one thing about Sarawak laksa is a lot of people don't know how to make it. It's almost like a tightly guarded secret how to make the laksa Sarawak taste. Taste-wise, it's pretty much close to the real thing. Great news for fans of Laksa Sarawak. So, a vegetarian flavour. Now, I had some crispy ikan bilis or uh, dried anchovies to sprinkle over the top. And then just added some uh, salad ingredients over it. This is the result. Tom Yum. Now, most people associate Tom Yum with Thai food. I decided to keep it very traditional and I didn't stuff around with adding extra flavors, but I did add other stuff in it. If you let it simmer for a little bit, it really brings out the flavor and it's a really, really nice, rich, flavorsome broth with a tinge of sourness. Asam Laksa. Now, um, Asam Laksa is one of Penang's most famous dishes. If you're not familiar with it, don't let the word, word Laksa throw you off. Asam Laksa is nothing like the curry Laksa that most Aussies are familiar with. Asam Laksa is actually uh, cooked in a fish broth and with lots of flaked fish and it's got no coconut milk and it tastes sour.
I decided to add half a boiled egg. I know, I know that asam laksa, people are gonna go mad. They say, oh, you don't serve asam laksa with boiled egg. I happen to have some boiled egg, so might as well. There you go. Penang white curry noodles is actually famous. It's a famous instant noodle flavor that became all the rage when it first came out years ago. Uh, but this one is pandan white curry flavor. Very, very similar basically. So it's got that pandan uh, flavoring as well. Give that a shot. Lontong, most people associate with the compressed rice in a uh, coconut -y curry. This lontong obviously uh, came with noodles instead of compressed rice. It came out like your typical mild vegetable curry served with noodles. Give it a shot. So there you have it. Some fun ways to serve up Malaysian instant noodles. The possibilities are endless. These are just some ideas to get your uh, brain ticking. So make sure you experiment. Uh, let me know what your favorite instant noodle flavor is so I can keep a lookout for it next time I'm out and about shopping. I'll see you next time.